<laughs> How good is this? What is going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video, and good bloody morning to you. Time check, 5.30 in the morning. It is pitch black. It's pretty bloody cold. We just got a little nice little fire going here. We got the billy on, and we are about to have one hell of a barista session, and then we're about to have one hell of a session in the tinny. Oh, this coffee is gonna be bloody good. So I don't really have any plan whatsoever. I suppose what we're gonna do is we're just gonna beach launch the tinny. We're gonna go out, we're gonna give the dumb dog, we're gonna give the booze hag lures an absolute flogging today. We're gonna see if we can get ourselves some kind of beautiful fish, come back to this exact fire in the afternoon and we're gonna cook up one hell of a feed. That's the goal. Look, I don't really have any plans to be honest, Ugh. but that is the goal, that's our plan. We're gonna see if we can try to go get a couple of fish, come back here, cook them in the arvo. We're not eating any food all day. We have to catch some sort of beautiful fish on the dumb dog or on the booze hag. Those new lures, bloody excited about it too. Look at this, there's nothing better. Why am I pulling my sleeves up? It's freezing cold right now. There's nothing better than having a fire. <laughs> and cooking and boiling your water on the fire. And then to back that up, you got a little bit of dog and guns finest right here. Look at that, that is just a bag of goodness. Look at that, it's like a big, big bloody Christmas stocking. That's what I'm talking about. Bang one of these filters over our cup, pour some water and we are putting that boat straight in the water. That sun's just starting to pop its head up. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that in the background, but that there's a little bit of light starting to happen now. So, oi, we are per we have timed this perfectly. Dribbling a bit of water, and we're on the road. Oh yeah, might even have to make a second one of these for when we get out in the boat. It's gonna be good. This should be a fun day. It's a little bit windy, a little bit worrying, but hey. We're going out. We're going out no matter what. A little solo fishing mission. You and me. This has got to be up there. One of the best ways to start a day. We've got a fresh coffee. Water boiled on the fire. A little bit of a bloody bush track here. Sun is very slowly rising over there. We are... We're making real good time here. We'll be there before it's even that sun pops up. So, a little bit of time to kill, coffee to smash. Look at this, but this is what it's all about right now. There ain't no better way to start a day, doggies. This is it, the ultimate. Big 
Love on the deck. Oh, this chair's hell good. Look at it. We have finally arrived on destination. This is the fishing zone and um, it's a lot rougher than it was forecast to be, but we're out here, we're getting it done. And I'll, uh, I'll show you guys exactly what we're using, the style of fishing we're gonna be doing, hopefully, and get that slob on the deck. So I'm just gonna be running these two rods today. The little overhead reel, we're gonna run a 100 gram dumb dog, 100 gram green dumb dog, and then on the other spinning rod, we're gonna run the 100 gram redhead booze hag. So we've got the two of my favorite lures in the world. This one we're just gonna do as a dumb, as a dead fish. So that's just gonna sit in the back. Right now this boat is rocking, it's moving, it's going crazy. So just by putting that in the rod holder, that lure is gonna have a lot of action on the bottom. And then this one, we're just gonna be using like a slow pitch jig and um, see if we can pull up a couple of slobs. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the plan. Who knows? But um, we're getting it done. Come on, big dog. Oh, that's dead jigs on, dead jigs on. No. All right, we got a fish on the dead jig. Oh, it's definitely not big, but it come and had a good sniff. This thing ain't a monster. Have a look at this. It's the it's the micro fishing morning. That is a tiny little pink snapper. He just smashed that 100 gram booze hag. As soon as I dropped it on the bottom, I just gave it like two or three little pumps and then it just came in and just smashed it. That is an extremely small fish to eat a 100 gram jig, but look, they're out there, they're vicious. Here's a little ripper, he's going back. See you, mate. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's off, he's gone. All right, let's try to upgrade these fish into something this big, but this is still super fun. Two fish for the booze hag. I mean, two fish for the booze hag, none for the dumb dog. So far. Let's see what else we can do. This thing just went, oh, that's big. That's big. Oi, 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 oi. This thing just went off its head. This is the dead jig. Oh, this is a good fish. Could be a good fish. I've got my other rod out there. Oh, this is hectic. Here we go, baby. This is a little bit of a better fish. Oh no! It's gone. We just pulled it. That was a better fish too. You're kidding. Still got the jig. What happened? That was a very, very good fish. So what happened was this little jigging rod here I just got, I was just jigging this rod. This this one got absolutely smoked, but I just couldn't, I don't know, didn't set the hook. And then that rod behind me with the jig just floating at the back by itself. That one went off. Then I hooked up to that one. That thing was peeling line. And then that thing just pulled as well. So I'm just not set, those, both those fish, they were good fish. That one was real good. That's just the jig just sitting at the back of the boat all by itself doing nothing. That was a good fish, man. Time check, 9.23 in the morning. Got two fish on the deck, just lost a big fish there. Bumped a big fish here, so could be in for a good day. That could have been, that could have been the fish of the day, that one. Seriously. What's going on here? Possible fish, possible seaweed, who knows? That rod's gonna get smoked now. Oh, little Jew banger. He's only a baby, but he's, he's so small. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. That's gotta be the cutest little Jew fish I've ever seen. 
That is a West Australian Jewfish. That is fish tank size Jewfish. Look at the size of it. It's the size of my hand. I've never seen one so small in my entire life. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. Lots of little fish around, but nothing big. Let's get this guy back in the water. Hopefully he releases. Hopefully he releases all right. Look at the size of him. He's tiny. All right, mate. You're going to go healthy. If not, I'll help you down. Righto, you need help. Alright buddy, get down there. Oi, 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 here we go. Go mate, go, get down there. Off he goes, look at him. Get him past that 10 metre mark of water. He'll be right, he'll get back down there, healthy. That'll do. That's it, he's gone. Oh, that's a fish. That is a fish. It's not a monster, but it's a fish. It's actually tiny. It's like Nemo. It's probably smaller than Nemo. All right, here we go. Have a look at this bloody thing. This dragon looking fish is called a Sergeant Baker. And um, he took a liking to that green 100 gram dumb dog. What we're going to do with this, we're going to cheat a little bit, not too much, but we are going to cheat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this fish, and um, these are incredibly good bait. So what we're going to do is, I know I hate bait fishing, but just to double our chances out here, we're going to rip a fillet off this thing. Hey, little fella. What we're going to do is we're going to rip a fillet off that fish, we're going to chuck it on that jig out the back, and then just let that jig sit on the bottom with a big chunk of bait on it and the motion of the ocean, and um, that might get us the big fish that we came out for. We're getting a lot of little fish out here, but nothing big, so we're going to change our game plan. Rip a fillet off this thing, chuck it on that rod, and um, hold on to your horses. We may get that massive slob that we came for. Who knows, but I'm going to put bait on a jig. Just, just slap me now. Do it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever done, but it might work. There ain't no rules out here. Oi, 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 oi. Yep, fish on. Yep. Oh, that's the best feeling when that happens. You watch the line and the line doesn't sink. The line just stops on the surface and you know you've got a fish on. Don't get too excited, but it's not a monster. Not a monster by anyone's means, but it's nice. It's fun. Oh, it's another Dewey. All right, beautiful little one. Look at this little fella. They're getting bigger. That one's a lot bigger than the one we got before. 100 gram dumb dog in its mouth. Smoke that right in the corner of its lip. That hook, that hook should actually just, just about fall out of his lip there. Look at that. 100 gram dumb dog. Boom. Beautiful little Jewfish. This is what we want. We want this, but a slob. All right, we'll get him back. Are you gonna swim, mate? Oh, look at that. Off he goes, like a jam. All right, we're gonna do that drift again. There's a couple of fish on the bottom. We're not even fishing bait anymore. I don't even know why I said I'm putting bait on a jig. That's the dumbest thing I've ever said. If I ever say that again, throw a fist at your TV, throw the room. No, don't do that. But um, yeah, we're not fishing, we're just jigging. We're, we're just jigging. This is getting good. All right, come on. We need to get that big slob. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, it's feeling good. Let's go and do that drift again. I'm gonna drift over that exact same part of same part of reef there. That was the money spot. Oh shit, that's not good. Alright, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one more quick drop. Um, see if we can pull a fish off this lump up here and we've got to go in. The tinny is filling up with water, I've got no idea why. We've got about, I don't know, that's about 30, 40, no, that's more. There's about 80 litres of water in the bottom of the boat right now. Um, this ain't cool, man. I don't know if you guys can see all that water there, but that's about 300 mil deep. That is a lot and a lot of water. I thought that, I was thinking to myself, man, the boat feels really weird. It's like super heavy. 
just pulled the, pulled the floor up and there's a heap of water in there, so we're taking on water somewhere. It's not splashing in from the sides. Fuck, I'm going in, that's bad. I'm, um, uh, I gotta go in, we're taking on water hard. Shit, that's a lot of water. I can't even get up on a plane. Shit! That's a lot of water, man. going on but we're definitely taking on water right now and we are way out at sea <laughs> holy shit um all right i just wanted to get a big fish on the deck but we got water coming in the boat i've got to get in look at this oh this is bad well i'm not even this is not even a bullshit joke right now we are taking on water and we are so far out at sea right now um We've got a long drive back. There's about, I don't even know how much, that's a lot of water, man. We're taking on water somewhere. There's either a crack in the boat or I don't know what's going on, but we're heavy and we're full of water. This ain't good. That's a lot of water. Oh, I can see land. Get me there, get me there. Boat's so heavy. Look at all that water. <laughs> this is gnarly. Get me in, get me in. Look at this. Look how full it is now. We're about 200 mil from the top of that engine block. It is filling up real quick. Now I can't get on a plane. Shit. I need to get the weight forward. This is hectic, man. We're actually taking on water. Oh no, now I can't get on a plane. Come on. Have a go at this. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. If I do that, maybe. But that's a big line of water. And it's just rushing in here, filling up the boat. That's interesting. I'm gonna get the boat out quickly and we've just come up onto the beach. We're in shallow water here if we're safe. But it looks like the water's coming in from this, there's a crack on that weld or something. The water's coming in here. See that water, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But that's like, not drying, there's always water there. It's coming in there somewhere, by the looks of things anyway. All right, let's get this boat out of the water and um, see why the hell we're taking on so much water. There is a lot of water in that boat, man. She's full. Whoo! Let's go. That sucks so bad. I'm actually really, 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 really sad right now because um, we never got that slob we went for. Whoa. We never got that slob we came for. We had to come in, but the boat is full of water. It weighs a ton. Let's have a look at where this leaks from. That really sucks. There's seaweed everywhere. All right, so right now the boat is full of water. And um, what my idea is, is to find out, obviously if the boat sucked water in, it'll drip water back out of where it came in from. And um, right now there is no water dripping out of the hull. So it means that the, the crack or the hole in the boat is higher than the water level in the boat right now. She is bone dry. There's a couple of little drips, but that's from the trailer. <sighs> Nothing really. I 
These welds are all good. Holy shit, have a look at that. All right, we found out where the water's coming in from. That's brutal. Look at this. Holy shit, we are very lucky we actually came in. I was gonna stay, I had a thought to myself, I was like, I'll just stay out there, but have a look at the size of that for a crack. No wonder why we're taking on water. That's hectic. Look at this, I don't know if you see it on a GoPro, but um, I'll try to get you in there. Oh, you're kidding. All right, so this weld here, the whole way down here is a massive crack. I'm not too sure if you can actually see it on the camera. That's a big crack. And that would make sense because when I was just there on the shallow water, that's where the water was coming in from, on that seal there. So that's where the crack is. You mongrel. That's just completely destroyed our slob fishing session. Oh yeah, half of the, half of the Indian Ocean is gonna get let out onto this car park right now. This boat's usually bone dry. Look at this. There's a lot of water gonna come out of that. All right, we nearly sunk the tinny. Good time. It's still going, dude. <laughs> there is so much water in there. It's been going for ages. Uh, well, we tried. Well, welcome back to where it all began. This is where we had coffees this morning and um, we're back. That was a very short-lived experience. Time check, 12, 12, 11. So it's just gone lunchtime and um, we've had to come in early because we've got a hole in the boat. Not a hole, but there's a massive crack. It's about 30 centimeters long, runs down the side of the gunnel on the boat there. So we're done. This boat is retired until I get that fixed, which absolutely sucks because I'm supposed to be going out with two of my mates tomorrow and um, that's not happening. But there is a big, juicy mama crack uh, you guys, you're never going to see it on the GoPro, but running all the way along there, big crack. That was just funneling water in. That sucks, but don't worry, doggies, we're not going hungry. But we're not going to be eating a big slob that I reckon we could, well, I reckon we would have got a good fish. We found ground, we found a couple of jewies, we got a couple of baldies. And that's usually when you find the big mama. You just got to keep picking the little ones and you find a big one. Obviously, we're forced to come in. But like I said, we ain't going hungry. Because we have this. <laughs> we have this in the esky still. We have this disgusting Sergeant Baker. Now, people say that these things taste really good. Some people say they taste like shit. And some people say they're full of bones. So, look, I've never eaten one before. And, uh... This is all we've got. This is all the food we've got out here right now. We obviously didn't get that big fish we come for, so that's lunch. I'm gonna start a fire, we're gonna cook it up, and we're gonna see how Sergeant Baker tastes. Are the rumors true? Do they taste good? Do they taste bad? You and me, we're both about to find out at the same time. There it is, Sergeant Baker. It's gonna go on the cook. We've got a little fire going, fill it. You never know, this could taste better than the Jewfish. Oh, I doubt it, but let's try. Look at this thing now. That is actually incre- <laughs> That's glow, that's like bulging groper meat. That is a really, really nice, shiny, beautiful white piece of meat. Surprised. There's a lot of small bones, but you got these like pin bones down there. There's another line of pin bones there and there. This thing's full of bones, man. There is a heap of bones in there. Anyway, could taste good. Quick with butt bang, I fill it off of this side. What are you eating?
All right, I reckon I'm just about done here. I've been here for a bloody long time taking these, taking the bones out of these fish fillets, but we're looking good. I don't think I've got any bones left. Basically what you get left with are these nice little strips like that. You gotta cut it in half and in half again. The way that the bone runs through the fillet of these fish, super strange, never seen it before, but looks like we've just about got majority, well, I've just found two bones there, but it looks like we've just about got the majority of the bone out of these fillets. So um, we're about ready to cook. I'll show you a cheeky little trick, which I do all the time. So usually when I'm cooking on a fire, I'll use this big dirty cast iron frying pan. And if you're gonna put the frying pan directly on the coals like this, it's just gonna put the fire out there. No oxygen can get underneath there. You need oxygen to flow under there to keep those embers alive, keep the fire going. So a handy little hint or a trick that I do all the time is I just get a tent peg. Just, ah, that's getting hot already, duh. But you grab a tent peg, you just bang him into the fire. You got three tent pegs, one, two, and another one over here. Look, ah, it's hot, yeah, oh yeah. But what those tent pegs do is, they, they hold that frying pan about this far off the bottom of the fire. So you can get this nice, nice flow of air underneath your fire, and you can make your frying pan dead level. If one side's a little bit too high, you just knock it down, and um, you can get that perfect, nice level frying pan and you've got that beautiful breathable fire underneath. That's gonna ignite any second. Perfect, look at that, boom. Nice little trick. All right, here we go. Look at that. Those 10 pegs, you can see how it's holding it off the coals there. Works every time. That's not gonna to take too long at all. That's bloody hot. Get those sticks under there, keep the heat together. Yeah, boy. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. I actually dropped a couple of bits, couple of bits of fish over there, but we've still got a good size feed here. So here we go. Is this fish good for an eating fish or is it just something that you throw back or use as bait? We are about to find out right now. Let's grab this big juicy piece here. From the outside appearance, golden brown. It's looking bloody beautiful. Take a bite. Ooh, that's not good. That's horrible. <laughs> that is shit house. All right. Straight off the bat, taste is not too bad. The texture, the texture of this fish is horrible. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this in the camera, but the piece of fish is made up of lots of little like little lines. When you get your big ju juicy jew fish, there's nice thick sections of fish in a fillet. This is made up of hundreds of little bits of sections of fish and um, the texture is like sort of chewing something between a tissue box and flour. I don't know, it's hard to explain. The taste is quite nice. That texture is horrible, man. No wonder why people use them for bait. That's shit, that's not good. If you were starving, if this was a survival situation and you were really bloody starving, you'd eat it, it would taste good. It doesn't taste too bad, but the texture's horrible. Yuck. Yeah, never again. Anyway, I will eat this because this is all the food we got here, so I'm forced to eat it. I'll try to, I'll try to eat it. But with that said, doggies, I'm gonna love yous and leave yous because we got a broken boat. Today didn't go to plan, but still a fun day. We got a couple of fish, we got this, fish that I guarantee you we're never going to eat again unless we're in a survival situation but the online shop has been loaded up so if you guys want to grab all your goodies over there make sure you bang this button right here that'll take you to fieldayshop.com and um, I guess I'll see you in the next video doggies thank you so much for watching thank you for all your support and I'll see you in the next video sweet hey no one's watching oh no let's get out of here